Oh my goodness. It arrived. It got here. I mean, it's taken absolutely an age to get to me, but it finally arrived about five minutes ago. This is the front end wheel loader that I went with. Uh, or front end loader as we call them. This is the WL Toys. Uh, what was it called again? It's called the 14800. And I've got to admit, it's a lot heavier than I first thought. Um, thankfully, the, uh, the uh, company I bought it off shipped it out in an extra box with a bit more padding around it because honestly, this thing was treated like a football. But this thing is heavy. I didn't expect it to be this heavy. That's one thing I'm going to tell you right now. It's heavy. I don't know how heavy it actually is, but it's heavy. So let's pull the lid off the 14, uh, 14800. All right. All right. So you guys are seeing this for the first time, same as me. So I don't know what to expect. Uh -huh. So let's get that out the road. Ooh, ooh, we got this. Oh, we've got a charger, little screwdriver, and a owner's manual. Cool, let's see. What have we got in here? I'm opening up the uh, owner's manual here to see if it's written in Chinglish or English, or is it just straight in Chinese? Uh, it says here, 14800 bulldozer model. Gong Duang Welly Intelligent Control... No. Code.ltd. Okay. Uh, it's written in. Um, it's written in Chinese first, and then English second. Uh, dear cust, dear customer, thank, thank for purchasing product. Please read careful manuals provided this product before operation. Please keep for future reference. Uh, then it tells me that the controller takes four AA batteries, uh, loosen the screw, and then it tells me that it's got a sound switch button, a light on button, a power switch, an operation switch, a power indicator switch. It's very compact, like the, the indications aren't very big. And then, yeah, it's telling me precautions on the lithium battery, you know, don't leave it unattended. Uh, what's this? The red head is forbidden to be used for charging. Okay, red head is forbidden to be used for charging. Uh, it's a 7.4 volt, 1500 milliamp hour lithium battery, but it doesn't say whether it's lie on or lie po. Uh, I'm going to go with since it's an 18650, it could be a lie po. Uh, not real sure on that one. But uh, yeah, it then tells me the loader instructions, um, that, uh, how to work it, the boom balance adjustment. You can push the big directional pad to turn the sound off. Uh, and there's a separate button to turn the lights off. That's cool. Then yeah, it kind of walks you through how to operate it. Okay, enough about that. That goes in the, bin, uh, in the, in the box. Uh, let's see, how do I unpack this? Uh, let's go this one first. This one, I'm going to assume, has our lovely little controller in it. Judging by the fact that it's got uh, two great big knobs sticking out of it. Uh, it's all very well sticky taped together. I might use a pair of skeezers. I'm not using my knife today because my knife blade blunt when I was working on something yesterday. Uh, so I've got to get a new knife blade. But, uh, I can go to Bunnings and get one of those. So that's not too much of a drama. Oh, wow. That's in there. This thing is so solidly packed. Uh, let's just cut that tape there. That's gone. That's gone. Uh, that's gone. Alright. Yep. That's just our controller. Uh, once again, it's one of those PlayStation type controllers. Uh, so up, down, left, right, operates your boom lift and all that jazz. Uh, cool bang. So it looks pretty much the same as the other controllers I've got. I'm going to have to put a label on this one to make sure I know that it belongs to the front end loader 
and not something else. Okay, cool. What's this thing? Let's lift this up. What's this? This is probably just a cardboard box to keep things in place. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that's just a cardboard box to keep things in place. Nothing in that. And then it's the unit. Um, wow. This thing's big. Okay. A uh, bit of bubble wrap. Don't know what it's in there for. It was just sitting on top. Let's see if I can get this thing out. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. That looks like it's got rubber tire marks from where it's been sliding backwards and forwards. I uh, don't think there's anything in it, so I'll chuck that in there. Um, oh boy. Oh wow. That thing is substantially heavy. Oh boy. That, that's actually quite substantially heavy. Oh, that was heavy. But uh, here it is, guys and girls. This is the WL Toys uh, 14800 metal bucket. Very substantial metal bucket. Uh, rubber tires. I've got some lights. Um, plastic cab. Plastic body. This thing is heavy. I mean, really quite, quite substantially heavy. Um, I was not expecting it to be this heavy, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that's, that's heavy. Metal here, metal lifting arm, plastic body. Wow, this is substantially heavy. Uh, I'm going to assume they put the battery in it. Oh boy. Oh man, do not drop this on your foot. It will break your foot. Uh, I've got to figure out where the battery lives. I think the battery lives back here in the back end of the front end loader. Luckily, we have a little screwdriver. So we can have a look at that battery if it's in here. If not, I'm going to have to hunt for it. Uh, uh, Oh wow, I, I didn't think it would be this heavy. It is substantially a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Um, yeah, you might have to go to the gym just to lift this thing. And yep, yeah, there it is. The battery is indeed in the back. It is one of those uh, 1850 cells. Uh, it just says, please turn off the power switch and unplug the battery connector after use. Um, and it says it's a 7.4 volt SF1865 uh, 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 1500 milliamp hour battery and I'm not sure what that plug is I think that's one of the XT30s is that an XT30 plug? is that what it looks like to me? it looks like an XT30 um, but uh yeah, that, oh boy, that's heavy. I'm, I'm not joking, guys and girls, this thing is a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Um, there is where the battery compartment is on the back. It's on the bottom of the unit, and it's heavy. I'd say there's quite substantial amount of lead weight hiding underneath here. Because, um, yeah, this unit is, a, a, it's a beast. It's really heavy. Uh, so yeah, this is the uh, front end loader I've been waiting on. This is why my construction videos have come to a complete halt over the last couple of days. Um, is because I've been waiting for this thing to arrive and it just hasn't gotten here. It actually got lost in transit for quite some time. And it went from where it got picked up to saying it was on board the delivery driver's truck this morning. Like, that's not tracking. You can't just, you know, say, oh, the unit's been picked up and then not have any indication of where the heck it is for three weeks. But, uh, yeah, uh, maybe one of the delivery drivers dropped it on his foot and has probably been in a uh, hospital or something because, yeah, that would have broken your foot. Uh, but, yeah, rubber tires, metal bucket, metal front lifting arm, body is plastic it it is it is really heavy 
I, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to weigh this, guys and girls, but I'd say this is upwards of about maybe 10 kilos. Maybe. I don't really know. But um, if I do manage to get it weighed somehow, I will put in the comment section what the weight of this actual unit is as it sits. But uh, it's a lot heavier than I thought it would ever be. Out of all the units that I've purchased so far of the budget construction equipment, this is the most solid. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's the WL Toys uh, 14800. Um, so it matches my uh, dump truck. So I've got two wieners, uh, which is the excavator and the bulldozer, they're wiener. And I've got two WL Toys, uh, which is basically the front end loader and the dump truck. Um, but yeah. Anyway guys and girls, uh, that pretty much sums it up. Look forward to the operation video coming in when I've got time to charge the battery and can get some time to actually show you guys how this thing functions. Now I am aware that they do have their faults. Uh, one of the faults is the uh, steering motor can crap out on them. Um, I am aware of that one. Uh, but the steering motor can get upgraded. You can purchase an upgrade motor through AliExpress if that is to happen to me. Uh, I know I can get the parts for it. Um, you can also upgrade the bucket on it. Um, there is a different bucket you can get that has like smooth edges so it's not clawed. Whereas this one is quite substantially clawed. Oh my word. I don't need to go to the gym. I just need to pick, practice picking this thing up and get a few times. Oh boy, that is really, really solid. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, don't forget, subscribe, um, and keep it up to date with the uh, construction videos. Now that this thing has arrived, I'll be able to start uh, getting uh, things done in the backyard very, very soon. Um, as long as the weather keeps being as good as it has been over the last couple of days, um, I'll be able to get some work started in the backyard very shortly. So, as I said, stay subscribed, give the video a thumbs up, yay! And uh, I will give you guys a thorough uh, operational video when I can. Until then, I will say bye for now. See ya!